Welcome to PowerTech Insights. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the Deep Sea SCADA Suite software for SCADA of 8,610 controllers. For this setup, we need to have Deep Sea controllers installed on the generators, a laptop with SCADA Suite software and Deep Sea Electronic Configuration Suite software installed. A D-Link desktop switch can be 4-port, 6-port, or 8-port, depending on how many generators you want to include in SCADA. You should have one spare port for the laptop, and the remaining ports can be used for the controllers. The D-Link desktop switch has an 8, 20V supply to power its internal circuit. One cable will connect the switch to the laptop, and the remaining cables will connect to each Deep Sea 8610 controller. From the Deep Sea SCADA software datasheet, we can see that it supports 7 to 3 series, 7 to 4 series, and 800 series controllers. The SCADA can monitor up to 40 controllers in any combination. For example, 32 generator controllers plus 8 mains utilities, 30 generator controllers plus 10 mains utilities. We also have a manual called the Deep Sea SCADA Suite Software Manual, which provides detailed information for this project. Step 1. Setting IP addresses in controllers. First of all, we need to set IP addresses in controllers. For this, we use the Deep Sea Electronics Configuration Suite software. Right now, I have connected one controller to my laptop using a USB cable. One end of the USB cable is connected to the 8610 controller. The other end is connected to the laptop running the Configuration Suite software. In the software, select USB connection. If the cable is disconnected, no device will be detected. Once reconnected, the controller will appear. Click red from controller to load its configuration into the laptop. Now, go to Communications Ethernet port. Here, we must adjust the IP address and subnet mask. For example, controller equals generator number 3 set IP 192.168.1.102 subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Click right to controller to save settings. Repeat the same procedure for other controllers. Generator number 2 IP 192.168.1.101 Generator number 1 IP 192.168.1.100 Important! After writing parameters, you must disconnect the DC supply of the controller. Otherwise, the IP address will not be saved into memory. After resetting DC power, you can confirm the new IP address in the controller's communication page. After saving, verify the IP addresses in each controller's display. Step 2. Configuring the laptop network. Next, we must configure the laptop's network. Go to Network and Sharing Center. Connect the laptop LAN cable to the D-Link switch. If disconnected, the local area connection disappears. When reconnected, it reappears. Open Properties Internet Protocol version 4. Set IP address equals 192.168.1.99. Subnet mask equals 
Click OK, then close. Now the laptop is ready to communicate with controllers via the switch. Step 3. Creating a site in SCADA. Open the Deep Sea SCADA configuration tool. Click on the generator icon. Since we have three 8,610 controllers, drag and drop three modules. Set communication type to Ethernet for each controller. Assign IPs accordingly. Generator Generator 2192.168.1.101 Generator 3192.168.1.102 Save the site. File save as example. New 3DSE 8610. Keep it in the default directory. Step 4. Running SCADA Suite. Now open the Deep Sea SCADA Suite software. Click Load. Select the created site and open it. The G 
generator icons appear red if there are shutdown faults. Controller show stop mode by default. If running, you will see low parameters. From the generator icon, you can start stop the controller. Open close breaker. Reset faults. Change mode manual auto stop. If alarms are active, you cannot change modes unless cleared. If a password is required, enter it. Monitoring options. From SCADA, you can monitor generator status voltage, current power, PF. Engine details, running hours, starts, battery voltage, oil pressure, water temperature, energy counters, bus values, active alarms, inputs, outputs, controller details, software version, bootloader. If this video helped you, please like, share, and subscribe. It really motivates us to create more valuable content for you. Each generator can be clicked individually Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3 to view details.
Step 5. Disconnecting and Reconnecting If an Ethernet cable is disconnected, the generator icon changes color to indicate offline. Reconnecting restores communication. The generator itself does not stop. It continues running. Only monitoring is interrupted. If the main cable between the laptop and D-Link switch is disconnected, the entire site goes offline. Reconnect it and reload the site to resume monitoring. The Deep Sea SCADA Suite software can be downloaded from the Deep Sea Electronics website. Additional notes. Maximum Ethernet cable length between laptop and generator is 100 meters. Maximum controllers supported are 40. Supported controllers include various 700 and 800 series models. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Your support inspires us to create even more valuable content. Stay tuned for our next video.